good morning. Um, as you can see here, I have somewhat of a cookery show setup going on because I'm making concrete. And the thing is, it is a little bit like baking. You follow a recipe, let it sort of do its baking, um, and then you end up with a product. Um, also, it's quite nice actually having everything laid out because this is way more organised than I ever am. So hopefully this process will teach me something in terms of um, not being quite so messy in the studio. The simple process for making concrete is you want cement, sand and an aggregate. Um, now I've got a sand that is quite fine, um, but also it's got some chippy blocks in it. it it's not to two millimetre um, limestone chippings it calls it. So my hope is that sort of act has both a sand and an aggregate at the same time. Um, because it's something so small and it's got a um, central support, I don't need it to be that um, strong. So um, what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to mix it all up, pour it into here um, and then away we go. Um, you will see I have made a mould. Um, I whacked this up yesterday. It's essentially um, a cut pipe. It's been bolted through a piece of wood at the bottom. Um, then I've silicone that on top um, and let that dry overnight. So that means that then I've got a lovely mould that will have a screw at the bottom um, that can go into the oak block that I'm carving. And at the top, I will delicately place, um, which is hanging up here, the vertical sundial. And then I'll place that on top so that the bolts that attach the sundial to this concrete post are set within the concrete. So it's a quick process, but quite a delicate process. Um, but hopefully because I've got everything here, I should be able to, to make it work. So to start, I need to make my mix. And my mix is going to be six parts sand. So I've got a lovely cup here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and I'm probably making way more than I need, but experience has told me that don't skimp because it's awful then having to try and remix when you've got half a thing full, it never works. Then it's two parts of my concrete, which is down here. So that's cement, sorry, this is concrete, two parts cement. One, two. Um, I'm also going to add in some PVA, just a dash, because I think this binds it nicely and gives it a slightly more plasticky um, feeling. So that goes in. That'll do, a nice generous dob. And the other element um, I'm then adding in is this stuff, which is uh, cement um, colourant. A nice black because I want this to be a nice dark black concrete that when I wax up with the oak as well you'll have this sort of again a stony feel um, so I'm gonna be quite generous with that because it does go quite a long way um, and I can add more if I need and then I add in my water so we'll start with a bit like that start mixing and let's see where we go And so I've left my mix for a little bit just so that the water can really um, embed in so it's totally sort of consistent in, in texture. It's quite a wet mixture, but for me that's important because I wanted to really fill quite um, tightly uh, the whole of this cylinder. I then need to very carefully pour it in. So. Yeah, that's not going to do it like that. Actually, maybe I just want to... I think this is going to be the bridge. that a shake. And 
I'm just going to tamper it down as well, just to make sure every single bit is got. The next job is to place the vertical sundial and I have these little screws that are going to bed down into uh, the concrete so that they will then um, mean that there are screws within the concrete that I can then attach the top onto so it will be totally sturdy. Um, but I want them to be slightly proud so I'm going to put a couple of braces here and then this is the tricky bit just making sure that all fits nicely and that it's also centered And that's us done. Um, hopefully it all works. Um, I won't touch this for a few days, um, just as I want it to totally, totally set. Um, and, and then what I have to do is quite carefully cut it out of uh, the plastic tube. So I'll have to cut two thin um, slices. Um, and then I can hopefully pull it apart like that. But, Fairly simple process, um, so now it's just a waiting game. I have been out of the studio for a few days, which um, has given this the perfect chance to uh, harden. You can see that uh, I'm going to touch it, it's super hard. Um, so I now need to do is unbolt this bad boy. That washer out. And then this should, oh, come away, he says. There we go. Bit of bash, that's always the best way to do it. And so then, there we go, it's just going to spin off like that. No, it really doesn't want to. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Get that off. Eww. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, great, that's off. Um, You'll see on the top here is where the bolts for the vertical sundial go. Um, now they're a bit wobbly, so that's no biggie because I can, I can sort of fix these better later on. Um, it means that I'll just have to glue them a bit more um, or sort of I might even sort of use some grouting or something. But at any rate, um, their position is there. So they're sort of, although they're loose, um, the most important thing is having the position. So um, I'm not too worried about that. Um, and the next thing to do is get this out of its um, get it out of its cast, basically. So the plan is to use my trusty old circular saw, but um, what I'm going to do is put it down to a super, super low um, cutting depth, um, which should mean that all I'm doing is grazing the plastic, and then hopefully it'll be so thin that I can probably then just slice it out with a, a box knife. So, ooh. Sweaty work. Um, let's give it a go. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
probably just go again. And let's see if I can then use this. Feels like that's doing it. I'll flip it over the other side so that hopefully we have two pieces that can come apart like this. getting in there. And then let's see if I can use a bit of a handsaw just to get these final bits off. Yeah, I think we're getting there. Now, I fear I might be slightly carving into the um, actual concrete itself, but that's not horrific because what I can do is I can use um, black grout to fill it. My main concern is getting it off in one piece. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Here we go. Oh, look at her. Okay. Great. So you'll see we have a lovely shiny concrete post um yeah a, a bit of a nick there but and a bit of uh, some bubbles actually so what i will end up doing is probably just going over the whole thing with a bit of black grout just so that that all becomes seamless moment of truth we can see if that goes in Okay, we'll need a little bit of adjustment, but because it's reasonably wonky, but I think that's just because the hole isn't in the right place, so I can amend that base hole. And you'll start to get an idea of how this is looking, but I'm super pleased by how sort of um, shiny the, the bits are that need to be shiny. So you could see because it's taken sort of the smooth plastic, um, it's gonna be great. And then as I say, this needs firming up, um, I will grout those in a bit. I'm not sure I'm going to do the top because there's something about the rough surface I quite like. Um, but at any rate, we can now see that once the vertical sun dial's on top, we're really starting to get somewhere. Um, so from here, we really are starting to get into finishing touches. Um, this all needs blackening. This needs sorting out a bit more. Um, fix these a bit more. I want to add some paint detail to the dials themselves. And then um, we're really in assembly point. So um, this is the final sort of product that we've needed to assemble the um, dials. And hopefully it should be fairly plain sailing ahead. Mm -hmm.